everybody. Will here, Tom Cruise Studios, Live Music in Austin, bringing to you episode number three of Three Beers and a Whiskey. This episode tonight features Andy McIntyre. Here's beer number two. Really, yeah, but good times. You, I mean, there's people there; they're enjoying it. It's like a packed house and all that. But you're like, this is legally, this is a bad idea. <laughs> At least you were climbing on the roof of a venue and trying to perform, right. or have you done that? Well, I have played a roof. Oh, a, a rooftop deck. And you, you mentioned a national anthem a moment yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. That was that at House Park when you did that. Yes. Yes. That is such okay. In fact, I was wearing this shirt. Now that I think about that. Really? Yeah. Man, that was so. I just was like, okay, I can't believe anybody's doing this. And if anybody's going to do it, Andy McIntyre just killing that shit. Yeah, right. That was awesome. How long's the album been out? The album's been out since April. Okay. And the very new release. Yeah, yeah, new. And the release was at uh, Antones. Thank you, by the way, Antones. Uh, yeah. We've got questions that are either coming in from the internet oh, or okay. from around. Uh, this one is uh, out of all of your songs, and you've got one, two, three, four, uh, six albums? Or am I short you? Um, you got the live one, you've got Ruby. Okay, yeah, six. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, is five. there five. is there a, a one that's like, this is your your baby, or this is your favorite song to either perform, or and, okay. What? No, no, no. But there's a second question coming out of that. <laughs> I'm cut myself off before I start asking a bunch of questions that you don't even answer the first <laughs> one. I, I can't. Boy. Yeah, like, yeah, Nate, here, this is my favorite child. Okay, you know, I, I, <laughs> people people say that, and and by, by saying people say that, mm -hmm. I've heard that said a lot. I th that stuff is so macabre. It's like, which kid do you sacrifice? Yeah, like I don't want to sacrifice a child. I want to sacrifice a song, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like, which is your favorite short story? I Okay. And uh, damn, so you got to make a note of that. So when y'all gotta write that down next time? I ask a question is is what is your favorite short story you've ever sang that you wrote? Right. Sure. Do you have one? Well, God, I sound like Neil Young man. Um, <laughs> keep on running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The else that that's not my favorite song. By <laughs> it's. Uh, what's your favorite song by Neil Young? My favorite song by Neil Young is probably Into the Black. Hey, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay. And the acoustic okay. version, not the full band one. I, I really like the acoustic one. Nice, okay. Um, so, so, I was going to say, we're, we're so dancing around right? that question. Yeah. Um, I think from a writer's point of view, my, my favorite song to, or that have my cachet, is. Uh, it, Probably the ones that sort of write themselves, just because there's less editing and less going back and forth. Okay. Uh, favorite song to perform are the ones that uh, you don't have to fight for. Um, I I know this sounds weird. Uh, it's it's difficult because when everyone's all tuned in and everyone's all on the same page. Emotionally, intellectually. Are you talking about the band, the yeah, crowd, or all yeah. of it? All of it. Okay. There's there just something about it that it, I don't know if it sort of opens up possibilities or just feelings, but you're like, wow, this is the best song. You know? <laughs> and you're like, this is the one. <laughs> for, and then the next week or the next night, you hear the same fucking song, the same people. People are like, yeah, whatever. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah I know the song bites, right? It sucks. I can listen to some of your stuff, and then you go to your live show, and it is a completely different experience. And I mean that in a good way. Like you listen to it, right. you're like, "Oh, this is great. I like this." Yeah. And then you go see you live, and, and it's it's that holy shit, this guy is freaking badass. Okay. Is that? Do you like? Do you know that you're doing? You're going like. Your live performance is a whole different vibe than what you've got in music, or are you are you trying to recreate your album and you just don't realize that your live show is like super fucking electric and badass? Well, first of all, thank you for the compliment. Um, it's true. <laughs> uh, it's true. I I 
I, I think the idea of trying to recreate or actually recreating the uh, everything about the album in a live setting I was just trying to think of a clean way to put it. Uh, like, you know, Pink Floyd and Muse and, and, and a little bit of U2, it's, it's like, yeah, it, it ends up kind of feeling or sort of playing kind of like the album. Uh -huh. and, and I'm not knocking that at all. I, I love going to nope. see that. Uh, there's two things that, that are interesting about that. Um, one is it takes an unbelievable team to make that happen. And by okay. unbelievable, I mean it's quantitative. It's like a huge production. And with that comes a huge bank account. And I, okay, you, you know, so you can get really close. Okay, but um, I think there, if I'm going to quote Mick Jagger, he he said something in some random ass uh, interview from years ago, saying that a sign of a good song is when you strip everything down and you mute everything up on a board and you grab an acoustic and you just sit down, you, any, any, any artist, and mm -hmm. you can sing and play it and it moves people to the same area that it does from listening to the final the full production. Full production. Then you know it's a good song. That's and a great quote. It, That's a, I'm, I'm maybe paraphrasing it a little yeah, bit, but, but it, it is what he, what he said and it was the absolute intent in, what he said so, so I just thought like and this is years ago he said and I went okay that that makes total sense because all of their songs you can do that you can pick up you know and just it's just and right, you know, right away yeah, and, it's, yeah. and you go well that's you know, song song yeah. you don't need you don't need the like weird the squashy intro. sound and like the big drums and Mick going yeah you just know it's I just spinal tap them, but but it's true. Yeah, it's spinal true. tap. <laughs> Your yeah. original size. <laughs> I mean, it was in danger being crushed by <laughs> the wall. Of the war. Wait, 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 wait. I, I have the measurements here. Those are inches, not feet. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Hey, hey, Wanker. We open up for him at the ball and totally crushed him. Crushed him. Wanker. Uh, any of your albums on vinyl? Why, yes. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's badass. I gotta give me some, some ant. Y'all can't see it, sorry. But, you know, you can see the wall I've got going up the stairs right there, and I've got, you know, a, a coordinating vinyl to each of those. So oh, actually, I would I love to have that have poster reframe put over there and have like a nice Andy McIntyre piece of vinyl right underneath it. So do you regularly listen to vinyl? Is that Yeah, that's, that's definitely a staple in my house. Yeah. Nice. But when you're at home, it, what's your your love, you think that she's like, stop, just fucking don't. You know, whether it's rehearsing or playing or, or listening to music and she's like, can you please turn it down? And what do you what's your or she's down with all of it. She's like, Yes, go ahead, turn it up. Play more. Practice. Yes. Typically, yes. It's funny, you know, like cranking like super loud music. I, I can be up in my little studio. Mm -hmm. the kick drums like that kind of coming through the uh, top floor. Yeah. But as soon as I sit down next to her, this is true. This is totally true. As soon as I sit down, sit down next to her with my strap that's not plugged in and start like warming up and running scales, it's that little like that drives her nuts. And I, after five minutes, she chokes, she turns and go, how can you stand that sound? I'm like, what sound? She's like, it doesn't, it doesn't even sound like a note. Just like, <laughs> like, oh yeah, you're right. Oh, oh, no, you're oh right. No, yeah, no, I'm fine with that. So, um, it's true though. I, I don't know if it was this past year for Christmas, or how, how long ago it was, you had, and I'm like really positive it was Christmas time. You had a party at your house, and everybody brought their own favorite beer, and y'all sat around and just did the beer tasting. Do you remember? I'll make your wife call in and tell me about this if you don't. But are you sure you're not thinking of the vinyl scotch party? No, no, no. It was beer. It was beer. Y'all were sitting. I, I remember. Um, because actually at one point I'm watching live, I'm watching y'all sit around and everybody's pouring out like, you, you bring your own beer 
and everyone was tasting. I remember this now, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm all watching live, and you're all like, oh, oh look, look, and you're like, oh, hey, and I'm like the one of six people watching y'all drink beer and taste, doing a beer tasting with, but uh, that was, I was like, I like that idea, I'm going to have to steal that shit from fucking okay. Andy, so, well, tell us about it, talk about it. That was, so, how much do you remember of that? No, I actually... Unfortunately, I remember quite a bit. There was an argument with Dave around that. Oh, wow. um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, shit, he's talking about that night. Uh oh. Um, was that around Christmas time? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought so, because I was going to, I, I want to say I remember Christmas lights and just, I, it, it just was like, that's a Christmas sign. That's why I, yeah. I was referencing that. But Yeah, that was just an off the cuff thing. That yeah, was like a, like, hey, hey, hey we're, we're, take them over and we're, we're three or four deep. And our friend Jack, uh, brought over, I oh, must have brought over eight different beers. Yeah. And just cracked them all and was like, here, try that one. You know, you'd pour like that much in. Try that one. Try that one. Try that one. Yeah, but you're like, this is the bomb. This is so good. We should do this all the time. And of course, we might have not doing yeah, it. Yeah, not doing it ever again, but yeah, so. Um, Call everybody. Call people you don't even like. Get them over here. Get them over here so you can get drunk at your house mm-hmm. and be like, uh, I really know I say I cry in my room. Shame. Yeah, so yeah, that's probably drink some good whiskey, drink some beer, have random conversation about shit that everybody out there is like, what the fuck are they talking about? Um This is FB and that's YT, right? Yeah, there you go. And um, that's that's for editing later, and the one under that one's for editing later. Now, the cool thing is, that camera right there, right under that beat, yeah. that is a, got like nose hairs close up of you. Okay, well, I don't know if it's that close, but yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Will Tompkins, from me and everybody here at Three Beers and a Whiskey, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, make sure if you uh, like what you saw, you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you won't miss future videos from Three Beers and Whiskey. Thank y'all very much.